the Cheap Joe's Art Stuff, my name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today we're gonna to talk a little bit about brusho. And if you've never heard of brusho, no, it is not a tooth powder. Uh, for your own safety, don't ever put it in your mouth. But it is a fascinating new watercolor media and I actually don't have all that much experience with it. I can tell you that, um, but you know, there are people who do. I think actually it might have a friend who could help us out with a little bit of info about Russia. Look! Hi everyone. It's bored! Hey, thanks for having me here. Yeah. I'm so excited. Wow, this is I've great. watched so many of these videos, I can't believe I'm actually in one. <laughs> Like the know, price right? is right, right? This is great. Come on down. <laughs> Come on down. So, tell us uh, a little bit about Brusho, like what you love about it. So, Brusho is uh, an ink and dye based crystal powdered watercolor. It's been around for many, many years in Europe, but it's fairly new to the US market. So we are taking it here in this country as we tend to do with things and we are making it our own. We're coming up with our own techniques and ideas and we are having a blast with this. It is, um, you know, like any other paint though, this is just another fun thing you can add to your toolkit. It's not the end all be all, uh, but it does add a lot of excitement and, and a lot of, um, it will get your paintings noticed and it is truly fun to do. It is. So should we do uh, 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 an instant universe? Yes. I call this instant universe. And I want to do this because uh, this will just illustrate real quickly each of these uh, colors and there's 35 of them. They have other colors mixed in with them. So they're, they're paints that you'll recognize by name like Lizard and Crimson and Gamboge and Burnt Sienna, Ultramarine. Um, so you, you kind of you know what you're getting. Um, but each of the colors has a myriad of other colors added to it. So there are no solid dark colors. So I'm just going to sprinkle on just black brusho only. And just to show you how fun this stuff is, I'm simply going to squirt some water on this. And I call this instant universe because look what happens. Oh, wow. And as you can see, you've got oranges, you've got turquoises, you've got reds and blues and greens and all kinds of fabulous colors. Just imagine what this can do for your backgrounds to add interest to something that you've already painted, putting speckles into petals, uh, or just if you want to do instant foliage and, and have vegetation everywhere. Uh, it's been transformative for me and I'm really, uh, I'm really grateful that I've had an opportunity to come here and share that with you today. Yeah, it was great and this is fantastic. So uh, if you haven't heard of Brusho before, now you have, um, check out some other two minute art tip and other videos that we will have coming up um, with brusho information and all kinds of fun cool stuff that you can do with brusho because we're sure that you will enjoy. Mm -hmm.